Okay, okay. Now it's definitely a Bulbasaur. It's no. Pikachu! What is that? No. We're back with some good old nostalgia for the Pokemon lovers who are now in their 30s. <laughs> who remembers what a cassette looks like anyway? We'll help you remember and learn you young and something new in this British take on monster collecting called Cassette Beast. Cassette Beast is a turn-based open-world monster catching game by Bitten Studio. The obvious go-to reference here is Pokemon, but this was catered for fans of the genre who, like me, are now all grown up and need something new, fresh, and different for my monster collecting itch. And Cassette Beast does so with pixely charm. The game starts with you washed ashore on New World, a mysterious island unshackled from both time and reality. Every person in New World arrived from different times and versions of Earth, and like you, they swiftly discovered that they shared the island with dozens of different monsters. These monsters could be recorded onto regular old cassette tape, which would allow the bearer to transform into that monster. That's right, you collect monsters by recording them, and then you become them in battle. Now your main goal, of course, is to get off the island and find your way home. And to do so, you'll be exploring the open worlds of New World and tracking down Archangels. In between, there are NPCs who have their own objectives and story quests, and will fight alongside you in battle with their own cassette beasts, and they give you bonuses based on your relationship with them. So, what beasts will you have in your arsenal? There are 120 unique beasts with clever pun names to discover, and they can be remastered, aka upgraded, into new, more powerful forms. Monsters are fully visible on the map, so you don't have to run around in grass to eventually fight something. Combat is turn-based, challenging and fun, and as you progress through the game, you unlock the fusion ability that allows you to combine two monsters, Digimon style, to create new and more powerful beasts. You're not just matching strength and type during combat, like a water beast against a fire beast. Some beasts have properties like glass, plastic or astral to consider. Certain battle moves can create strategic chemical reactions to benefit you in combat. It's just enough chemistry to keep combat interesting and engaging, so you're maximizing brutality in every fight. When you're not fighting, you're exploring the 2.5D world of New World. It's not huge, but it's connected in fun ways. Since you transform into monsters by recording them, certain monster types give your avatar new abilities like swimming, gliding, or rowing, that help to unlock parts of the map or to get to out of the way places. The art and graphics in Cassette Beast are beautiful and perfectly match the whimsical nature of New World. The game world is simple, which helps with navigation. Character portraits are beautiful and full of personality, and bosses and boss fights are pretty spectacular. The soundtrack for the game has some really catchy tunes and awesome guitar riffs. I liked the vocal tracks, but if that's not your thing, you can switch to the awesome instrumentals instead. For the really nostalgic among us, the main quests in the game are named after some very popular 80s and 90s hits. Can you remember them all? Cassette Beast has many similarities to Pokemon, but it's the differences that captured me. Unlike Pokemon's four moves, your monsters will gradually learn new moves over time, but you can also add and remove moves at any time by peeling off and reapplying stickers to their respective tapes. Being able to customize your monster squad and their moves is definitely something I've wanted in a Pokemon game. And for 2023, the game is quite progressive, allowing you to set up your character as male, female, or neutral, and choosing your own pronouns. And if you wish to change something about your character, the game lets you do so in your house after the tutorial. The only drawback to Cassette Beast is that it's a Pokemon-style game at its core which might not be to everyone's liking. But if you're a Pokemon fan, the developers took all the good parts, corrected all the bad parts, sprinkled in some Digimon and added Zelda-style exploration to make a refreshing monster collector game filled with content and super fun combat mechanics. The game has a multiplayer mode where a friend can drop in and play with you using their collected monsters, 
which I think we wanted in Pokemon since it was on the Game Boy. Now, Cassette Beast is so much fun. And the fact that this is all the work of mainly two developers just blows my mind. Fair and enough. the entire game was made using the Godot engine. This is a completely free cross-platform game engine that you can download today to easily create 2D and 3D games. What? Hey, on first impression, the game looks amazing. I really like the fact that they use that nostalgic look of the Pokemon. Pokemon, you know, feel back in the Game Boy Advance days. Mm -hmm. As I have said before, mm -hmm. and I'm a, a real supporter of it, mm -hmm. a game can be actually good and do not be fooled by the graphics. Sometimes games that don't have that much graphics or, or, or not that graphically great are actually pretty good games at the core. Mm -hmm. And I suspect that this one, which was lovingly crafted by these these excellent developers mm -hmm. I, I think that they put some love behind it and definitely. i think that there's definitely gonna it's gonna feel like a good solid gaming experience oh yes and you guys are going to love it it's mm -hmm. fantastic fantastic <laughs> That's right. So that, that's what um, we think. How about you guys? What do you think about this game? Do you think that you'll enjoy it? Are you a Pokemon fan? Are you still in your 30s and then you enjoy Pokemon games still? Let do you remember know. what a cassette is? Do you remember what a cassette is? <laughs> a, a lot of people who are watching right now are like, what, what's that? Cassette? Cassette? Mm. What is that? A CD? No, it's no. not. <laughs> That'll probably be the sequel. What's a CD? CD Beast. <laughs> <laughs> Some people be like, what's a CD? CD. Oh my God, technology. Time is passing too quickly. Yeah. Ah. During my lifetime. My gosh, and man. And I'm just 25. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, enough with the lies. We'll be back on some Game of Vibe World. He might not be back. <laughs> yes.